It's my mind. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to think about myself the way God says I am. And I'm going to see myself on that stage the way God says I am. Are you here? Is that okay? It's more than okay. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. I welcome you and thank you for joining us. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. If this is your first time here, make sure that you like and subscribe down below, and we'll be able to send you updates on all our new videos that come out. Psalms 103, verse 1 Bless the Lord, O oh, oh my soul. Well, what's your soul? We know this here. A lot of people might not know it online. But you are a spirit man that's the first part of you that lives forever right you have a mind that is your soul say my mind is my soul my mind is, my my soul. Mind is that's the part that you think with that's the part you reason with your soul is your mind right and then your body where's your body mm -hmm. you can touch physical things with your physical body and then you touch things in the mental realm with your soul you think about things right your emotions then what do you touch with your spirit man the real you the spirit realm well the Holy Ghost is the spirit and that's how we get to know him is by the spirit realm right we don't know him in our mind we don't know him in our body but here this is my point here bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me you still here yes. so he's telling you to do something with your mind you ask a lot of Christians and they don't want to do anything with their mind because they're scared of that realm well, you can't just let it go you got to do something with it the Bible talks about renewing your mind here it's telling you to use it to bless the Lord with meaning focus your mind on the Lord all right bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord O my soul and forget not what do you forget things with <laughs> my body my body forgot to bathe no your mind forgot to bathe your body don't do that you understand so with your mind you either forget things or you don't forget things if he says forget not all thy benefits what would that entail what would that mean that it's possible mm -hmm. say it's possible. it's possible it's possible that you might forget something mm -hmm. is this true yes. so guess what I get to do I get to remind you I get to be the one standing in front of you and reminding you some people have never heard it before but if you have heard it before then you're being reminded to forget not verse 3 forget not all his benefits how many is all? all does anybody have a dictionary all means all so God's got a truckload of benefits say a truckload a truckload of benefits we're not supposed to forget any of them all means all mm -hmm. are you here yes. I really wish that God would somewhere in his verses of Scripture tell us what for what benefits not to forget wouldn't that be great because yeah. he can't tell you to don't forget these and then not tell you about them or you I mean there would are you here yeah. oh look he does list them out let's read a few verse 3 who forgives two of your iniquities no, no. he forgives all your iniquities no. say this God, God forgives, forgives all, all my, iniquities. my iniquities is that a good news yeah. We're pretty happy about that one is that something that you shouldn't forget it'd be a good thing to remind people of too wouldn't it mm -hmm. who forgives all thine iniquities who uh oh heals all your diseases do people forget about this yeah. do they forget about that this is something God does well first of all does God forgive all iniquities yes. is it something he does yes. is it something he's good at yes. he's he's made an occupation out of it right what else does he do he heals all your diseases do people forget about it yes. they go oh I'll just put up with that because well you know I forgot about that well no you're forgetting about that it's one of the things God does say it's one of the things God does, the things God does. is heal, is heal. All, all diseases, diseases. what diseases all diseases except no all he did, did he qualify that no. who forgives all thine iniquities and heals all thy diseases except the ones that come on people because they got older no. 
where he heals all diseases including say including. including it would have to include diseases that come on people because they got older who redeems thy life from destruction who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles is youth renewal one of the things god does yes. i can show you verses over and over again it's one of the things he does one of the things he does best it's one of the things he did for Abraham and Sarah who we would all say is the father and mother I suppose of our faith what did he do to them what was the first thing and one of the biggest things he did to them he renewed their youth, he renewed their youth. we all go no God yeah, yeah no if you're a follower of faith if you are of faith you're the same faith of Abraham right, right? Yes. right. and what's he gonna do for you say it he renews my youth did you see that so that thy youth is renewed is youth renewal listed in one of the concrete specific blessings all the blessings that god said he would do right yes, yes. and that we're not supposed to forget That's right. so would it be okay if i didn't forget about it but i reminded you about it yes. what's going to happen if you listen to the word of god concerning youth renewal your youth will be renewed but faith will come first of all because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god and you'll begin to believe it wouldn't that be great yes. wouldn't it be great to have believers who actually believe what are they going to believe they're going to believe the word that's right i believe it i believe it that makes me a believer, makes me a believer. what if i don't believe it <laughs> will it make you an unbeliever right <laughs> i believe it and you got to believe it you see that all the blessings of god come through faith can you understand that all the blessings of God come through faith say it all the blessings, all the blessings of, God of God come through faith, come through faith. And, believing. and believing anyway so we believe that God number one forgives sins we believe God uh, heals our diseases right yes. and we believe he also redeems your life from destructions other things and renews your youth say God, God renews, renews my, my youth so let's go to Psalms 107 verse 20 he sent his word say he sent his word, sent his word. and healed them and delivered them from their destruction so here we have god again doing the same thing in a different verse of scripture he sent his word and what healed them we can start to see how god does it it's amazing in a lot of churches they don't have a lot of healing because they don't have the word concerning healing and you'd be hard pressed to find a lot of people that have youth renewal going on because they don't have the word concerning youth renewal going on you understand that's how god does stuff he sent his word into the earth he sent his word and healed them mm -hmm. are you here yes. it says that specifically right there verse 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions so if you receive his word where there must be healing in the word i'm not making big leaps here i'm just pointing out if he sent his word and it healed them there had to be something in the word what was in the word healing. porcupines no. jackrabbits no there were there must have been healing in the word Amen. all right because that's what he sent and it healed them and delivered them from their destructions i find it interesting here that god calls sickness a destruction can we all agree with that mm -hmm. yes does sickness destroy people yes. does it destroy you if you let it keep getting on you you got to resist it right mm -hmm. how about age-related sicknesses and destructions does god heal of age-related sicknesses and yes. what he calls destructions yes, yes he sent his word so his word must heal people of age related destructions or sicknesses you understand this i mean i literally have a whole other series that talks about sicknesses that come on people because of old age god heals those by renewing the youth of that specific part That's right. it's okay just just listen you know you, you can't you can't have faith come without hearing and when you know some and sometimes you can't have faith for something new unless you hear something new right, right? Yes. guess what happens to people that start believing in healing from the from the word of god and that word comes to them and he sent his word concerning healing to them and they receive it and they believe it 
healing begins to take place mm -hmm. guess what happens to people when they start to see that god provides youth renewal in the scriptures and they receive that word and it begins to affect them what begins to happen to them you their youth begins to get renewed can anyone testify of this yeah. yes is it something god does well not in my church well do you believe that in your church does anyone believe that do you believe that mm -hmm. but just because you don't believe it doesn't make it not true it just makes it not trues for you mm -hmm. right what makes it trues for you believing it mm -hmm. say it makes it trues <laughs> for me when i believe it now unfortunately they'll put you outside of many other people who don't believe that but that's okay Matthew chapter 8 verse 16 when the evening was come they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils that doesn't sound good and he cast out the spirit with his wand no. Is that what it says no. no he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick is that word all there yes huh again so here's Jesus multitude of people thousands say thousands thousands Jesus healed all that were sick let me ask you a question was there a guy at a bouncer at a gate with one of those velvet ropes that wouldn't let anybody in that was under the age of 16 or over the age of 46 no. say there were no bouncers in Jesus day <laughs> right they let everybody who's there were there older people there that's my point were there most likely and almost you can emphatically say since he healed all that were sick what did he heal people that were sick because of elderly diseases or age-related things that came on them yes by him healing all that were sick in this large crowd of people he had to have healed people that were sick of illnesses that came on them because of old age are you here yes. all right say I get younger on my birthday you got to start believing things the way God says it you got to think the way say think. think think the way God says it and start to think about yourself that way That's right, right? Yes. say I get younger tomorrow I see myself younger tomorrow so the fact is youth renewal is in the word say that youth renewal, youth renewal. is in, is in. the word, word now if it's in the word and he sent his word and healed where do we have to get it from we get it from the word we have to receive the word does that make sense yes proverbs chapter 4 let's look at verse 20. my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings let them not depart from thine eyes now does he mean that i have to look at the words all the time to not let them depart me it's going to be hard to drive a car in that day it might be hard to drive a camel you'd be running over people in the market mm -hmm. but that's not really what he's saying here let them not depart from thy sight or thy eyes your mind is seeing the word say my mind, my mind is seeing, is seeing the, word. the word bless the Lord O my soul and forget not so we're still talking about the mind here he says look let them not depart from thine eyes so he's talking about the words not departing from your eyes or your vision or the way you see yourself keep them in the midst of thy heart verse 22 for they my words are life say life. life unto those that find them and health or medicine the margin says to all their flesh what is health what is life and health to all their flesh God's Word when you attend to it and you keep it before your eyes can you see there that you have something to do with this forget not bless the Lord O oh my soul forget not right and here he says my son attend you got to attend incline you got to listen let it not depart from your so you have something to do say I have something, I have something to, do to do with it not, with it not departing, departing from, my eyes. from my eyes right you have something to do with it you have something to do with his words not departing from your mind or your sight or the way you see things please go with me here let them my words not 
depart from before thine eyes the way you see things or the way you envision things a lot of people don't have a thought in their head that god heals people let alone a god a god a thought in their head that god heals them how can they have this before their eyes at all times that god heals me say god heals me now close your eyes and say god heals me now think about that and say God heals, me. God heals me what is that what are you seeing now in your mind in your eyes now what what that you're healed you get a picture of you being healed you're keeping that before your eyes would it be wrong for you to say God heals me no. would it be wrong for you therefore to think and have that image that vision that image of God healing you or you being healed in your mind exactly it would be wrong for you to have any other thought in your head I'm raising the hairs on a lot of people's religious people's heads right now because they don't want anything to do with the mind they'll say that's mind power oh that's mind power you're using mind power <laughs> and I'm saying oh you're lacking mind power right you know and we understand what they're saying there but we're it says you're you're not letting it depart from your eyes you're not trying to force your mind and use your mind to manipulate somebody else's mind no. you're using your mind to do what you're supposed to do say i'm, I'm using, using my mind my to do what i'm supposed to do and people that go oh stay away from the mind we don't want anything to do with that mind science stuff they're not going to use their mind to do what they're supposed to do right mm -hmm. so they really can't have their mind renewed mm -hmm. yeah. well this is fun anyway it says let them not depart from thine eyes whose eyes thine. your mind. eyes thine eyes is this not a command yes. do we see this right. so we're supposed to be doing something with our mind say my mind, my mind my mind and see and people that go no that's mind power right you can't do that well what about body power then remember you're a three-part being spirit soul and body and we all oh, remember we don't use your mind because you know then you're doing something you know a little spooky or something well what if, what if you used your body to do things that are godly are there things that you can do with your body that are godly yes should you do things with your body that are godly that are in line with god's word yes. yeah you're obeying god what about your spirit man should your spirit man do things that are godly that are in line with god's word yes absolutely like worship god are you here yes what about your mind your mind should do things that are in line with god's word are you here and be renewed and there's nothing wrong with it in fact there's wrong it's wrong if you don't your part is to see it and say it see what and say what you say see the word and say the word when god says you're one way you need to say it that way and you need to see it that way you need to see yourself that way say see myself that way, see myself that way. and say say myself that way, say myself that way. Say you got to say say myself that way what happens when you say yourself that way you see yourself that way i find that's the best way you have a big part to play in keeping and getting the word of god into the midst of your heart you have something to do with getting it to your heart and keeping it to your heart it has to do with hearing saying and seeing it when i hear it i say it and i see it it starts to get into my heart now i'm going to say a couple things here that's really going to bother people and i'm not really saying it to bother people but i think if it bothers them it's because they're not where they need to be yet in what i'm talking about when you go and you start to begin to take the word of god and you put it in your mind you can understand people don't like this people talk about this people say this is ooh, this is bad this is witchcraft I don't get it because you are you have a mind you should be using your mind in line with what God wants you to do we have scriptures that tell you to do that right. in fact be renewed in the spirit of your mind mm -hmm. be transformed by the renewing of your mind mm -hmm. many scriptures anyway so when you're there when you're by yourself say by myself, by myself. this works best by yourself not in a group of people mm -hmm. when you're by yourself 
I like to say it this way I enter into the theater of my own mind I didn't say your mind I'm not trying to enter into your mind am I I enter into the theater you can write this down it's really good I enter into the theater of my own mind right under it my own mind and I see myself on stage can you picture that mm -hmm. what am I gonna now picture as I close my eyes and I look at myself on that stage? I'm envisioning right what am I envisioning I'm envisioning the word I'm envisioning what he said about me you don't see yourself sick you don't see yourself getting older you don't see yourself going under are you here mm -hmm. so have I brought you up to the place where you can see that this is okay I'm not entering into the theater of your mind I'm not trying to go and do something that's outside of scripture I'm entering into this place where I'm thinking say he's thinking, he's thinking. I'm thinking in line with what God says about me if God says I sent my word and healed you is it wrong for me to sit there and think enter the theater of my own mind it's my mind mm -hmm. right? That's right say it's my mind, it's my mind. back yeah. off religious so-and-so you know it's my mind I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna think about myself the way God says I am and I'm gonna see myself on that stage the way God says I am are you here is that okay yes. it's more than okay as in other in, in other messages I showed you this is how God does a lot of things right remember he took Abraham out he's trying to get Abraham to believe his father many nations he had no kids before he renewed his youth he took him out to show him the stars of the sky he said that's how many kids you're gonna have God took him out and had him see himself as a guy with too many kids <laughs> right did he how did Abraham begin seeing himself after that he began seeing himself the way God saw him it's 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 critical it's critical to your faith that you begin to see yourself the way God sees you and stop seeing yourself the way you see you because the way you see you well that doesn't work so well but when you begin to see yourself the way God sees you things begin to happen things begin to change on the inside and you begin to rise up to the level of what you see yourself being in his word and in his spirit is this good yet yes. you got to go there well, oh, I don't dare I don't I don't dare it's your mind you close your eyes you're thinking about something anything anyway right mm -hmm. I double dog dare you to close your eyes and begin seeing yourself the way God sees you say it I close my eyes, I close my eyes. and I begin, I begin to see myself, see myself the way God sees me, way God sees me. how are you there in that room in that place on that stage right it's your mind get on the stage nobody else is there it's okay you can even keep the lights down if you want you get on the stage how are you you gimpy you ugly no you're better looking say I'm better looking, I'm better looking. are you younger yeah are you more prosperous yes. how do you know that you making this up no the word says you are what I am says you are mm -hmm. well, I have preached on that that God the I am the original I am those are some of the strongest words in the scriptures he made you in his after his likeness and when you begin to say I am that you begin to see yourself that way it is no and it's okay for you to sit there and see yourself the way I am says you are I wrote down here just to remind myself that I think I'm the one doing it I'm the one remembering I'm the one initiating it I have something to do with it right if I wait for God to do what he said for me to do how long am I gonna have to wait you be waiting a real long time say he'd be waiting real long time too long some people wait their entire life and never get listen they never get the thing that God has for them because they don't do the thing that God has for them to do to get it right mm -hmm. and part of what you have to do to get it I read you the verses you've got to sit there and you've got to renew your mind and how are you gonna renew it you're gonna renew it with the word 
you are seeing on the stage of your own mind in the theater of your own mind it sounds kind of funny doesn't it mm -hmm. enter the theater of your own mind it sounds kind of ooh, but it's not when you look at it what God's saying right it's my mind you know it's okay for me to sit there and go okay I'm putting myself on a stage and I'm gonna look at myself the way God has me do you know that's okay I'm not sitting there thinking some perverted thought I'm sitting there using my mind my mind my mind my mind the way God told me to use my mind That's right. isn't this good yes. this is setting somebody free out there this is wonderful so I get to use my mind I'm seeing myself as an actor in a play can you imagine this now in our day and age can you imagine that we watch so much TV we see so many actors all the time playing and we know if we went and met the actor out on the you know in the parking lot after the scene he wouldn't be you know the, the mob boss that he was playing over here well I hope not <laughs> an actor in a play what is this actor that you're putting on the stage even if this is what I'm trying to get at even if you have to act it out at first I know it's uncomfortable to see yourself in a way that you haven't seen yourself before but you have to do it it's an exercise of your mind I see myself healed I see myself blessed I see myself favored I see myself increasing I see myself younger mm -hmm. are those things outside of the Word of God I'm I am using the Word of God to renew my mind in the way I see myself my part is to see it and say it I'm telling you I preach on saying it all the time do I preach on saying it all the time yes. it's one of the ways you walk with God is by saying and speaking in agreement with his word but when I speak in agreement with his word I am seeing in agreement with his word and one of the best ways to get beyond that hurdle of seeing yourself differently is just to say it I see I'm saying it I see myself use those words I see myself younger I see myself healed now the act of you doing that is not what's healing what's healing you the word is what's healing you that's where people would criticize you you're just trying to use your mind to manipulate to manipulate no I'm not I'm using my mind to get the image of myself to be in agreement with God and that's why I'm using his word uh, you getting this second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 said all the promises of God are yes and amen meaning God has already said yes say he already said yes, he already said yes. who says the amen we say the, we say the amen. amen what does amen mean so be it God already said yes to all the promises we have to say so be it unto me so when you're thinking about it you say so be that promise unto me and you picture yourself with that promise being unto you I think this really helps are you getting any of this so I call myself the way God says I am I see myself the way God says. say I call myself, I call myself the, way says I the way God says I am are you all right with that yes is that okay yes. shouldn't we yes. I'm gonna call myself God says I'm healed I'm healed whether I look like it or not right God said what if I'm forgiven do I feel forgiven well I don't feel forgiven am I forgiven yes. yeah he forgave me of all my iniquities right so is it okay for me to say I'm forgiven yes, yes. what does that do to me when I picture myself forgiven I'm pretty happy about it yes. right I was like a weight lifted off of me would it therefore be okay to say because he said he forgave all my iniquities he healed all my diseases would that be okay mm -hmm. for me to say that yes. even though I don't feel like it I didn't feel like I was forgiven and I certainly didn't feel like I was healed when should you say you're healed before the healing takes place right so I call myself the way God says I am is it okay therefore to see myself the way God says I am yes. yes and it's a necessary component of faith are you seeing this yes. do you see what it does to you it renews your mind the Bible says that we're transformed in Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 we're transformed by the renewing of our minds mm -hmm. say I'm getting younger I see myself getting younger 
say i see myself getting healed -er. <laughs> right are you getting it i call myself and i see myself the way god says i am i am says it that way i agree with him say i agree with him did you agree with him with your mouth yes did you agree with him with your mind mm -hmm. yeah those things come first you seen it mm -hmm. all right because your mind has to be renewed first so I'm not asking to be blessed in this place in this theater of your mind <laughs> it's it's so pertinent isn't it mm -hmm. it works the theater of your own mind you can go there mm -hmm. and picture yourself as an actor in that play and picture yourself until you see yourself that way but there I'm not in that place I'm not asking my I'm not asking to be blessed I am blessed according to the word I'm not asking to be healed I am healed according to the word I'm not asking for my youth to be renewed where in that place mm -hmm. on that stage what am I I am youth renewed mm -hmm. I am healed mm -hmm. I am blessed is this making sense yeah. And so it is Proverbs chapter 23 7 again we won't turn there as a man thinks in his heart so is he he's thinking it gets in his heart so is he what is he thinking that gets in his heart it should be the word right he's thinking the word he's seeing the word it gets in his heart so is he I'm not making this up this is how God does things you've got to see it and call it that way first renewing your mind means to visualize yourself to see yourself let me ask you a question if my mind is renewed how do i see myself i see myself the way the, the word says yeah. right the word says he renews my youth it's one of his benefits don't forget it what do i see myself youth renewed i'm getting younger mm -hmm. how old are you going to be tomorrow I'm younger <laughs> <laughs> say i'm getting younger i'm getting younger is it something God does is it one of his benefits I'm a believer anyway I'm getting younger every day is that okay to say mm -hmm. do I have scripture for it mm -hmm. should I say it should I see it should I see myself that way if my mind is renewed how should I see myself that way mm -hmm. does it just happen does it fall off a, a tree like ripe cherries yeah. or bananas or whatever you got hanging on that tree no you have to you have something to do about it meaning you have to attend you have to put effort into it you have to go and set up the stage of your own mind and put it there and look at it and look at it and look at it this is a scriptural principle I, you understand that yes. and that's how we have our mind renewed we begin to see ourselves the way God says we are so I see myself younger tomorrow say that I see myself I see younger tomorrow. younger tomorrow in fact close your eyes and say this I see myself, I see myself the way God set, sees me I see myself, I see myself, I see myself the way God says I am I see myself healed I see myself blessed I see myself younger I saw I see myself even younger I see myself free of all sickness and disease and problem in, in Jesus name Jesus and all things are working together for good for me in Jesus name amen